Hi, my name's Rachel Neal and I lead UK Mortgage Prisoners. In these tough times, can you imagine if your mortgage payments doubled, trebled or even more than that? And if you didn't make the payments that you'd be facing not sensitivity and support but eviction? Well, that's the plight of many mortgage prisoners through no fault of their own including the many who started out on high street mortgages, such as Bradford and Bingley and Northern Rock. And sadly, as things stand at the moment, it's something that could happen to just about any of us. We want to change that, which is why we're forming a new charity to bring to light the terrible risks and injustices currently inherent in the financial system, and especially the way mortgages are regulated. Any mortgage today, no matter how reputable the lender, can be sold on to a vulture fund who care for nothing but profit with disastrous results for those who are on the loan book they now own. How do we know? Because it's happened over and over again to tens of thousands what are now mortgage prisoners. Estimates now place this number as high as 250,000. With so many in jeopardy, we need to tighten up the regulation and get the law changed so that it meets people's reasonable expectations that when they deal with a regulated lender in a regulated industry, they do not get sold down the river to a predatory American company who can take them for every penny and ruin their life in the process. Routinely driving people to the brink of suicide. Here's just a few examples. From a full, happy family life to the brink of suicide, the sale of Graham's mortgage to a zombie lender resulted in a breakdown and the loss of both his shop and the jobs of all his 10 employees. Working in business since he was 19 years old, Graham's mental health was completely destroyed. He was forced to lay off his team, downsize his business, struggling daily with worries about making the exorbitant mortgage payments that amounted to more than £250,000 above market rate. Jill and her home came within a whisker of repossession after her mortgage was sold on without her consent to another inactive lender who for over 10 years has been charging more than double the market rate, around £50,000 in all. Trapped in a cycle of stress and fear by the crushing financial burden, Jill and her husband lost their business and Jill has had to overcome feelings of shame and guilt, believing it was due to her family's bad decision until she joined the group which she now helps lead. Kelly, a key worker, already feeling sick with anxiety and lack of sleep over the Covid crisis, is being stretched to the limit with sky-high mortgage payments and never-ending pressures. While risking her life to support others, she doesn't know if or how she can go on. We are critically dependent on nurses like Kelly. We simply cannot allow suffering like this to continue. Over 150,000 mortgage prisoners have had their mortgages sold off to different companies, forcing them to overpay by tens of thousands of pounds. Over the last three years, on a voluntary basis, we have managed to get the exorbitant rate reduced in dozens of cases, been able to prevent numerous repossessions and even more importantly, averted several suicide attempts, getting the people involved the help and support they needed. We have given our own money to those who couldn't feed themselves, that found themselves forced into poverty and despair, without heating through the winter months. All this devastation is a result of the last crash in 2008, and the years of austerity that followed. The Covid crisis and the impact it has brought to the economy means that there will be another wave of even greater hardship and many more mortgage prisoners as a result, which means that many, many people, through no fault of their own, will need help to avoid losing their homes, a disaster for society as well as the families involved, which is why we need your help to create the Mortgage Prisoners Charity. It will keep on the pressure to change regulation and the law, while also supporting the victims of vulture funds which continue to prey on our people. It will seek to protect us all from what I can only call a flawed and predatory system. And to change it, we need your help, not just for the money to get the charity established, the legal work, etc., and for the hardship fund we want to create, but even more than that, to get the word out we know that there are many tens of thousands of mortgage prisoners we have yet to reach and sadly there will be many more in the months and years to come.